Welcome to the Edge. I say it with a heavy heart. Welcome. I just had a situation develop. A fellow that I depend on for work got into a family squabble with a girlfriend, that is to say. And he ended up in jail. Now, there's heavy heart is it because I couldn't bail him out on Saturday because he, he couldn't have a hearing. It was too late at night, so the hearing he missed the hearing for a Saturday. I'm probably going to bail him out tomorrow. Maybe in time to avoid what he's going to possibly experience. 80% of the people in our jails, notoriously, like in the nursing homes, very high percentage, end up with the virus. So a, a short jail term, whether it's a day or two, with a population in the jails, of the virus at 80% might be a death sentence. That's considerable. Just for fighting with your girlfriend. How serious was it? Well, she she got you a bloody nose, you got her a bloody nose. Whatever it is, you're, you're now in, in peril with your very life over being jailed in that situation. But a larger issue, and that's to home. So we never think we're going to be affected by this virus and how it's going to get to us. Well, this got to me. I depend on how he's been an employee of mine for 15 years. And I, I need his work. And it's, um, it's kind of heavy. At the same time, we find out, and he wouldn't know, he wouldn't admit he had it, but he wouldn't know he had it. I'm sure in the jail there's no testing to know that. But we have a leader of our country who has a, a chief of staff who's married to a chief of staff, the vice president's chief of staff. She and he have only married, married a short time. Of course, they never sleep together when they're married that, in that short time. That never happens. And she has the all-out virus. And the valet for the president has a virus. I know he's only been a valet for close to a year, maybe longer. Of course, that wouldn't affect the president, would it? Um, he never wears a mask. He's overweight. Who's most likely to have a problem? Overweight, older people in their 70s. That does kind of make him look a little problematic. However, he assured us it's going to go like this. It's so easy. But then again, if he has the virus, and so the vice president has the virus and they have it at the same time, do you think they're going to admit it? That they're going to actually say that they have the virus? Do you really believe that? Of course he won't admit it. Of course he'll say, but he tells the truth. He really does. You have to be assured of that. So if he does have the virus, we talked about this the other night. It's a serious issue. And now that it's being confirmed, what I said the other night in a previous show, it's getting damn serious, folks. And if you, do you believe Trump will tell you the truth about his virus, if he has it, or that Pence will do the same? Um, let's see, what is it they say? Uh, I'll, I'll give you uh, 10 lots in Miami Beach. That's not gonna happen, folks. That admission is not gonna come. And if you love Trump, and want him to tell the truth, do you really want him to do it at this time? No matter what it takes, do you really want that to happen? That is a question for you. This could be where the election begins and ends. This is serious. It's not about taking sides. You get the damn virus, and you're 73 years old, just like in the jails, folks. That can be a death sentence. And Mr. Johnson and the Prime Minister of the UK in England nearly died in office. And he was tied up over a month avoiding death. And he barely escaped, Boris Johnson. So he says it's a serious matter. He's warning his people it's a serious matter. But it's going to be so easy with the Donald. You know that's true. Of course you do. And you know he'll admit it if he has it. Of course, you know he won't admit it. But there you have it. And Nancy Pelosi is drinking a cup of tea 
or a glass of wine, just tapping her finger on the wine glass or on the cup of coffee, whatever it is, and uh, thinking, well, I wonder how long this is going to take. This ball game could be in the last of the ninth inning, folks. Just think about that. Chew on that. And by the way, I know some of you out there, the Joes of the world, the Johns of the world, and the Judds of the world, they all think this is not serious. But I bet you that it is. And thank you very much for your time and your interest. And uh, keep talking. Let me know what you think. If you like or dislike, it doesn't matter which side you're on. It really isn't about sides. It's about survival. Have a good night.